down too. And yes, that's a sign of things to come. Even more rain and probably too much rain by the time the storm systems actually move out early Friday. You're looking at Ennis and eastern Allegheny County where you still have a little bit of wet road out there, but it's been drying out this afternoon. We've got a little more rain though coming in. Skies have stayed gray. They will be cloudy tonight. We're looking at spring like temperatures continuing this week. Rain and thunderstorms. Yeah, like spring as well. We do have a flash flooding concern as we're looking at some two to maybe as much as four inches of rain in our forecast. Now the temperatures, they look good, right? 64 in Lexington, Danville, 63 in Martinsville, and we've got 50s in the mountains right now. A little bit of light rain pushing into the triad, a few sprinkles. It's a little heavier as you go up 52, Pilot Mountain, Mount Airy, all the way up to Hillsville. Also some moderate showers from Wilkesboro toward Elkin, Yakinville. Boonville, lighter sprinkles from High Point back to Lexington and Moxville. This little batch is going to be moving through over the next couple of hours. So for the later evening hours, we don't look for a whole lot of real measurable rain. Just a spotty shower later on this evening and then overnight also fairly dry with just a spotty shower chance tomorrow morning with really comfortable temperatures. They're going to be in the low to mid 50s as we start the day on Wednesday. Scattered showers are in the forecast Wednesday. Most of the rain comes in from lunchtime into the afternoon. There will be some showers around in the late morning, about a half of an inch of rain tomorrow. So the rain's not expected to be all that heavy tomorrow. It does pick up Thursday, some one to three inches possible Thursday with some storms starting to push in maybe as soon as Thursday morning in our mountain communities, then Thursday afternoon and Thursday night heavy rain with additional one to maybe as much as two inches of rain. And there's also the risk for severe thunderstorms during the day Thursday and Thursday evening in the triad. So we've got this storm system kind of lined up. It's a slow moving cold front, so we'll see waves of moisture along it. And because they're moving over the same areas, they've been dealing with some flooding out west and we may be dealing with some flooding as well. So that's really been the storm threat that we've seen expressed out toward Nashville and also over parts of Missouri. Nothing real, real severe, but as the storm system continues to move to the east, we look for more storms to develop, potentially with wind, maybe even isolated tornadoes, Mississippi, Alabama tomorrow, and then spreading our way. I'll talk about that in a second. Look at the map for this evening. Again, we'll have hit and miss showers around through about 9 o'clock. Pretty quiet overnight and tomorrow morning. Then notice by late morning we're getting some showers pushing through. They continue through lunchtime into the afternoon with an occasional heavy downpour. As far as rainfall goes, the heaviest waits to come in Wednesday night and into the day on Thursday. So rainfall totals should be close to a quarter, maybe a half of an inch across our area. Then we're going to add to that Wednesday night and Thursday. Again, best chances of rain in the triad are going to be around lunchtime on with a high of 66 tomorrow. For the foothills, the temperatures in the mid 60s by late day. Also looking for significant rain showers to develop as the day goes on. In the mountains, the high is 60 degrees. That severe threat is for Thursday, not tomorrow, but it does include our communities here under a slight risk right along that I 85 corridor where we could have not only heavy rain, but potentially flash flooding, damaging wind and the possibility for an isolated tornado. Here's your seven day forecast. It's spring like Wednesday and Thursday. It is back to normal for February heading into the weekend.